part two, part two, this is part two. Um, I did like your Facebook post of the Herb Tarlick thing. That was awesome. I did like that. <laughs> yeah, Herb, Herb wearing his, 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 yeah, yeah. his red plaid. Frank Bonner wearing the plaid with the Razorback Cup the Razorback was awesome. Cup. Yep. Yeah, I forgot, but I'd seen that Razorback Cup on a number of occasions. Me too. Frank, Frank Bonner through the Razorback Tommy Cup. Johnson uh, told me about that, and I didn't know that. I had to look it up that I didn't know Frank Bonner was from Arkansas. Yeah, I never was, knew that. He was from Arkansas, and he was a hog fan. Yes. I, I don't know. I wonder if I can look up those episodes of Just the Ten of Us with him in there and see if I can notice it. Because I know Frank did a few episodes of Just the Ten of Us in the 90s. With, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was in a couple of different shows. Yeah, he directed a lot of stuff, though, too. Yep. Herb Tarlick. Yes. Because I always remember the pilot, though, too, when it's, um... Yeah, when Mama Carlson shows up when she finds out they've changed to rock and roll. Right. And Carlson throws Andy under the bus and says, Oh, this guy, he's a nobody. We fired him already. Herb Tarlick is the new station director. He's like a mother to me. <laughs> he's like a son to me, Mama. And I'm thinking, shut up. And so he said he just shuts him up. It's hilarious. <laughs> And I remember when they brought it back in the 90s. I've actually watched some of those episodes. Yeah. Just as funny. Just as funny. Times have changed. Cast has changed. Yep. Show's still funny. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still funny. I mean, you've got a great, you got a great uh, kind of storyline to go with there. Yeah. But at the same time, I do remember the remake. It didn't, it didn't have the same chemistry. It kind of did. I just don't think, I think TV had changed so much in the nine years the show had been off the so. air. By the time it came back in the 90s, you kept most of the original cast, but it just didn't feel the same. Right. There's a lot of there's there's a lot of shows like that that they try to they, they try to do a reboot and and they just it just never quite goes. But the I mean the original cast the original Love Care cast there, there there was just this really good chemistry. Oh, definitely cool yes. Characters and they inter interacted really well. Johnny Fever. Oh yeah. Howard Hessman, Gary Sandy, Tim Reed, Tim Reed. Lonnie Anderson, um, Jan Smithers, yep. Frank Bonner, uh, Richard Sanders, That's, it's just Gordon like, Jump. That was yep. great chemistry. Yep. Her yep. and Hugh Wilson put it all together so greatly. And now, if you like that type of situation, I always recommend the movie Down Periscope. If you love WKRP, oh, yeah, yeah, Down yeah, Periscope. Yeah. Hugh Wilson was the brains behind that. Him and David S. Ward, the guy behind Major League. That was great comedy. Yep. You say uh, Operation Down Periscope. Have you ever seen uh, Operation Petticoat? I've heard of it, but I've never really sat and watched it's good. it. It's, it's an older movie, but uh, it, now, was, it was good. Now, another Down, now if Down Periscope's in your wheelhouse, though, too. I always recommend The Wackiest Ship in the Army. Ah, yes, I saw that. Yeah, these are those are like 1950s. I think Wackiest Ship in the Army came out, I think, in like 1962. Right, right, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking that was like early 60s. I want to say Operation Petticoat was like a 1950s movie. Might be. If, please, if somebody sees this and they look it up, what year was did Operation Petticoat come out? Please remember, if you like these videos, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell for all updates on this here channel. I'm pretty sure it was black and white. When, when did, Might have been. When, when did, I mean, the first movie, Cinema... That was really color was Wizard of Oz. That was in the late 30s, 1939. 